Hey angels. So angels, boy do I have a story time for you guys today. Okay, a story time. Because this is going on for too long and I need to say something about it. I need to bring my feelings out about this before I go even crazier than I am already am. And I need a drink for this. I got an organic Capri Sun. I'm going to need a drink. But anyways. Here's the deal, guys. My neighbors, okay? Some spooky stuff is going on next door. First of all, they don't have a car. That is not what this is about, but they don't have a car. I'm just explaining to you guys their lifestyle right now. They don't have a car, so they walk, you know, and I see them every day. Because they walk, I see them every day. I see the man and I see the woman. Sometimes together, you know, walking out, going wherever they need to go. Sometimes um, I see the woman more than the man because the man works. He leaves for work early in the morning and he doesn't get back until like late evening sometimes. So sometimes during that time I'll see the woman, you know, outside, you know, um, feeding the dog, bringing the dog some food cleaning up around a little bit around the yard or walking out where she needs to go so how come for the last past three weeks I haven't seen his wife what is going on here what's going on I haven't seen her in three weeks, guys. Three weeks. But I still see him walking to, you know, wherever he's going and to the store, wherever. I see him outside feeding the dog, bringing the dog food. But for three weeks, I didn't see his wife. Now, I started getting suspicious after like a week of not seeing her, I started getting suspicious and I said to myself, well, maybe, maybe she's sick or something. Maybe she's sick or maybe she left him. I was just trying to think, you know, why I wasn't seeing her for like a week. So, because first of all, I have to stay in tuned and I have to stay tuned in what's going on around me that's the type of person I am I pay attention to what's going on around me because there are a lot of crazy people out there and I'm not trying to get you know I'm not trying to get murdered or nothing like that or not saying that's the type of people they are but I'm just saying as for me I'm a I'm the type of person that's gonna keep a lookout for certain things and weird things and suspicious things that's going on around me so I can protect myself if I need to. But yeah, so I started getting suspicious like after a week of not seeing her, you know, because I paid attention. And so I was thinking maybe she left him. Maybe she's sick. Maybe she went to visit some family, okay? So those are the things that I was thinking could have happened, possibly, since I haven't seen her in like a week. Then, two weeks went on. Didn't see her at all. But from time to time, I'm seeing him walking, you know, going certain places where he needs to go. Outside, feeding the dog bringing the dog food, cleaning off the yard, whatever. So then, 
three weeks went on. Didn't see her, but still see him, you know, on and off doing the normal, the normal stuff that they do. Okay, first of all, why? Tell me why after three weeks, like yesterday, tell me why I was peeping out of my window and I saw her peeping out of their house. Peeping out of their house, okay? And when he went back in the house, the window closed. Now, that makes me even more suspicious to what's going on. That makes me even more suspicious. Like, are you are you holding her hostage? Like, are you holding her hostage? Please, somebody tell me something here because this is getting spooky. And I want to know, what's going on? Why haven't I seen her in three weeks? Something ain't right. And for me to see you peeping out the window and why aren't you outside doing your normality? Feeding the dog and I never see you in the daytime no more. Something isn't right. So guys, that's basically what I want to tell you guys. Like something isn't right about what's going on over there. And I'm going to find out what what actually is going on because I'm going to get to the bottom of this I'm definitely going to get to the bottom of what's going on over there so there's definitely going to be a part two story time about this because I have to figure out the rest of this puzzle piece if you know what I mean so guys, just let me know, let me know in the comments if you think that I'm being paranoid about this story. Do you think that I'm taking this a little bit too overboard because I actually don't think that I am because like I said, I like to pay attention to what's going on around me and when I get a vibe or when I see weird stuff going on, then I'm going to get suspicious about what's going on because I'm just a very protective person of myself and I don't want anything crazy to happen like where I'm living at or whatever and I know that I cannot possibly do something about every little thing but if you keep your eyes out and your ears out on certain things sometimes maybe you could save yourself or you could save somebody else so I don't know just let me know if you guys think I'm being paranoid or uh, am I being going a little bit over the top or what let me know if you was in this situation how would you feel would you pay it any mind or would you just keep going on about your day basically that's I think what most people would do because I'm just different and I'm gonna watch out for myself and my surroundings okay so let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much, guys. So don't forget to like, share, and comment. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.